changing color, crisp fall air. It's kind of sad to say goodbye to summer, but we have many ideas on how to stay warm and cozy and active during the fall season. Starting off with the best waffle place in town, Medina Cafe, where Medina's chef cooks up something special for Mamona. When it comes to starting your day right, nothing gets you going quite like a perfectly crafted, delicious tasting meal. And whether it be breakfast, brunch, or lunch, a Vancouver experience, Cafe Medina reigns supreme with the occasional lines around the block. And I am here very honored with the on owner, Robbie. I'm honored. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. What do you think makes you different from other places that you know generates this much buzz? Honestly, it's, I mean, Enlightened hospitality, great menu. We like to provide something that people can't generally get in any everyday establishment. Obviously the waffles have always been, I mean I literally look at them every day and say don't do it Robbie, don't do it Robbie. <laughs> All the tagine has been my long time favorite because I'm a sucker for merguez sausage but for now we're breakfast, lunch, brunch, that's what we do. Uh, that's what we love to do. I'd have to say when, when someone leaves and says that was the best experience I've ever had I'm flattered and grateful well Cafe Medina is all about welcoming their guests in a friendly environment with dishes that are very substantial that will sustain you for the whole day and make you feel full and this one is a great example nice thank you very Grilled much avocado toast so it's a beautiful ciabatta bun. Fresh off the grill. There's a layer of avocado, and then it's topped with Lebanese salsa, and that's made with some beautiful heirloom tomatoes. And then cilantro, a little bit of Turkish chili, and smoked sea salt. And it is all topped with a fried egg. And look at all these colors. It definitely makes me excited to try this dish. You can already feel that bun. It's crispy on the outside and really, really soft and moist on the inside. I'm sure it's going to taste delicious. Well, this is a great dish. It's very robust in flavors. You know, there's a really great mix of a little bit of everything in there. It's a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet, a little bit salty. And it definitely feels like a robust meal. Really well done. Well, this place sure is worth all the buzz that it has generated, and the food is definitely something to talk about. Please check out medinacafe.com for more, and I have more to eat. Super excited about this next segment. It takes a very brave soul to permanently mark their body with something they believe in and to bear all that pain. Somebody is getting ink today. Who is it going to be? Let's find out at Electro Lady Lux. Tattoos are a form of artistic and personal expression and can be seen on people of all walks of life. But for the first timer, getting inked can be a very intimidating experience. Offering a warm and welcome environment is Electro Lady Lux on Commercial Drive. Just so happens I have the itch to get a tattoo, but I really need to find out what it's all about first. My good friend Sonia Picard, who's also a celebrity Vancouver designer and artist, is getting hers done right now. So we're going to pop in and see what it's all about. Let's go inside. Oh, 
probably gonna take about 45 minutes. Well, I think being female owned and operated and um, you know, predominantly female workers in this place, I mean, we attract a certain type of clientele. Um, everything ranging from you know, everyday people to doctors, nurses, lawyers, the whole gamut. I would have to say most of our clientele are women and uh, they're just looking for something a little different in, in their environment and uh, in the process of getting tattooed. I think we offer something different. So white tattoos have become pretty popular with people who don't like maybe the harsh look of most tattoos. Most people in the industry have a, a strong belief that white tattoos aren't really tattoos per se and it's more because I think they don't fit within the norm. I think they can look really great. I like it. Yeah, I'm happy with it. No pain, no gain. If you are interested in booking a tattoo and finding one of their incredible artists to do it, visit their website, electroladylux.com. Sometimes I'm so much fire, top of the world. Those are just a few of Raghav's hits. We're hanging out with international superstar Raghav. Hey. How you doing? Everything is good. So you are here in Vancouver. And when you do come to Vancouver, which is often, what are some of the things that you check out and the things that you do? I'm a big seawall walk guy. I do that walk, which always like take, it's supposed to take two hours. It takes me like three and a half. All right. Because I walk so slow. But it's just, I think topography wise, it, this has got to be the most beautiful city on the planet. How hard is it to get your songs on the radio? We benefit in Canada from something called Canadian content. Mm. It's very complicated, it's very hard, but I always say that if I get on and people hear the music, I believe the music's good enough that people will love and react to it. I'm on fire, 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 fire tonight. I love you all so much. Let's talk about the struggle of being a superstar. People think they know being a rock star traveling all over the world is a lot of fun, but you're working on little sleep right now. I'm kind of on a three, four hour sleep thing, but that's okay. I mean, I'm very lucky that I get to do this for a living. I just can't believe that it's been almost a decade in this game okay. of making music. I feel very blessed. Okay, so on a, on a typical day, it would, it would be like that. A, a gig the night before, waking up early to do promos or interviews, and then food in there somewhere, and then jet set somewhere else. Well, I'm not jet setting today. I'm just taking a five hour drive up to Kelowna. But um, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of traveling. Travel is the big thing that people, people don't see is how much we travel. Okay, when it comes to music, as a, as a little guy, how did music first enter into your life? I've been singing since I was four. Someone said, hey, what, does your son do anything special? And my mom's like, no, you know, <laughs> Raga's useless. And I ended up singing uh, one of the songs from our, our stuck tape and our Ford Granada from beginning to end and they kind of thought, hey, and I, I just love the reaction that I got. I'm ready to go anywhere that you like. I'll be okay if I'm by your side. Cause we're just getting started, don't know where we're gonna end up tonight. And it don't even matter, let's just go together, you and I. So take me away, hey, hey, hey. take me away, hey. take me with you, take me with you. That's why the women love them. They do? They do? They do. Yeah! Well, now they do. <laughs> you mentioned working with A.R. Amon. What are some other projects that are coming up? None of your damn business. <laughs> We did get a song in Million Dollar Arm, which was uh, the baseball movie that was uh, Disney did. And um, that was with Wale. And the soundtrack had Iggy Azalea and Kendrick Lamar. And I'm hearing really good things about, you know, possible nominations for the soundtrack for Grammys and stuff. So fingers crossed. But That's for the Million Dollar Arm? That's for Million Dollar Arm. I did that with AR. All right. So we'll look for all of that. And uh, also you'll have more music on your new album coming out. Yeah, there's a new single that's out right now called Take Me Away. 
It's produced by Afrojack, who's probably the biggest DJ in the world right now. Nice. And then uh, the next single is called Until the Sun Comes Up, which uh, has a little bit of Hindi in it. Very cool. So hopefully we're going to have to try and convince the Canadian stations to play some Hindi lyrics. Very cool. It could be a first. Thank you so much. Thank you. Raghav. Angelina. Ow. Hey. We're here at the Croatian Cultural Center for the 21st Century Flea Market. This thing is huge, and everything inside of here is totally unique, antique, and special. Looking for those people who are out for a find. Let's go check it out. I sell here once a month for the past, I don't know, 10 years or so. For 10 years you've been selling here? <laughs> I do other flea markets as well, but this flea market is the best. Wow, so this is this is definitely like a culture and, and not one that, that a lot of people don't know about. And what, what is so special about the flea market culture for you? It's the thrill of the hunt. <laughs> So finding that special thing, right? Check this out. Check this out. It's like an army bear inside of a vase. <laughs> and he's only 75 cents. <laughs> this is a steal. Check that out. What's it like to be a seller at, at these events? Fabulous. Just fabulous. You have such a good time and you, there are so many different uh, personalities. Absolutely, we've seen a few of them already. It's well, pretty exciting. Like young men like you who come along and can't keep their hands off a paper cup. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us being all silly. You guys, uh, you guys consider yourselves uh, uh, flea marketeers, right? Yeah, absolutely, for sure. Yeah, if you're giving us a label. <laughs> so, what's the best part about it? Like, what brings you back every time? This stuff. <laughs> I love this stuff. Yeah, I'm finding the stuff. And sure, treasure hunt, sure. Yeah. Yeah, you never have enough cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> right? Cool stuff. Do you think you probably have too much stuff? Why is he pointing that at me? <laughs> Did somebody tell you that? <laughs> it's, got a, it's got a cash register on the top. Look, look, it's a cash register on the top of this spoon. Why? Why? That's so random. <laughs> it's a cat in a cup. <laughs> That's so cool. But look, it doesn't actually, it, like, it, like it, that's just it. Like, it, you don't, <laughs> it's just one piece. Something about the people here, like, it's, it's like a, um, a convention almost, really. Well, I mean, we all, like, with the, what you mean with the dealers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, we're all like a little family. We all know each other. You yeah. Know? And, you know, there's most of us like each other, but there's a few that don't, just like in a family, right? So oh, really? Is there drama? Oh, yeah, there can be drama. Totally. Politics, <laughs> drama. I mean, this isn't so bad because it's only once a month, but I mean, right. if you get into, you know, the regular flea market circuit, yeah. that gets crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fights break out. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's too stressful. It is. <laughs> Um, so this is this is my little friend Timothy. Timothy, what do you have to say to Vancouver? Oh, hello everybody. Um, I just uh, just here wearing mascara, you know, just just getting getting potentially sold. Uh, as you can see here, I have my my certificate of authenticity. Um, oh, actually, apparently my name's Matthew. Just really excited to uh, be here with you guys. You're not supposed to reveal that it's me making the, the voice. Now the, now the whole illusion's ruined. God, come on. So we're done here at the flea market at the Croatian Cultural Center. It's been so cool to talk to the people who buy and sell here and, and just to know more about the little things that you can find that mean so much to so many people. Um, if you're interested, you can find more about the Croatian Cultural Center and the flea markets on their website listed below. Thanks for coming by. 
After adrenaline-inducing activities like being on stage as a rock star and getting tattooed, it's time to decompress, de-stress, meditate on a body of water. Flotation tanks are the latest trends in calming and healing your body. Let's see how Stephanie Florian feels after she takes the plunge at Float House. Sometimes the hustle and the bustle of life just takes its toll and you need to find a space where you can let your mind and your body go free. Well with their float isolation and their sensory deprivation tanks, the float house in Vancouver offers the perfect escape. Come float with me. Well, a float tank is kind of like the world's most perfect bathtub. There's actually uh, 10 inches of water and it's heated to 93.5 degrees, which is the same temperature of the surface of your skin. And there's 900 pounds of Epsom salts dissolved into the water. And it's an enclosed environment, so there's no light, no sound, and minimal tactile sensation. So the idea is to reduce the amount of sensory input coming into your body. Some people come here for like the meditation aspect of it. Some people use the tank for creativity or recovery. It's great for your joints, great for recovering after a workout. It's really got something for everybody. So this is just a great chance for you to come in, shut things down, and have some real time for yourself. All right, so this is the flotation tank. Before you want to go in, you want to shower off completely, get everything off. Then uh, put your earplugs in. You're gonna open the door, step into the tank, uh, use the handrails to make sure you don't slip. Step in, just sit down and close the door behind you. Then you wanna just turn around, lie on your back, and you'll float effortlessly. Enjoy your float, and we'll play some music, and that will wake you up, and that'll be your cue to get out. Here we go, I'm entering the capsule. My body's relaxed, my mind is at ease, and now I'm ready to tackle my day. The float house really does provide that reset button to recharge your life. If you're looking to come and have your own flotation experience, visit the website floathouse.ca. If you haven't been swept up by the Thai food craze just yet, we have found the perfect neighborhood hangout for some homemade comfort Thai food right here in Kitsilano on West 4th, especially on a rainy day like today. And I'm here with the owner, Chris. Thank you very much for having us. Welcome. <laughs> so tell us about your inspiration for opening the Bangkok City Cafe. Well, we, we really wanted to just open a, a restaurant that uh, served uh, the most uh, common Thai foods. Uh, but we try to make them as flavorful as possible. We've been inspired by many different people's recipes. Mm -hmm. So yes, definitely uh, mom's uh, recipes. Our food is really uh, a take on the street food. We take all of these recipes that we've managed to acquire and uh, uh, kind of uh, make a twist on them. All of our ingredients are pretty much uh, local. Uh, we definitely bring in uh, uh, ingredients from Thailand. Uh, a lot of the curries, of course, are mm. Thai. The noodles are even from Thailand. We make a wonderful coconut pad thai. Mm. And I don't think anyone's ever made that around here. So um, yeah, you've got to try that.
Well, speaking of that famous Thai hospitality, look at this. How spoiled are we? How amazing. So here we have the Sum Tom salad. This is some green beans, peanuts, cucumbers, carrots, and of course, papaya. Well, this is a super balanced salad. It was refreshing, but at the same time, it sure packs a punch. And that hint of a little peanut flavor in there, great combination. Next, let's go to that classic, the chicken pad thai with those Thai noodles. Little noodle, little chicken. Well, this is an extremely flavorful dish and it really does bring you back to Thailand, which is great. And those noodles have a great texture. It's a little bit chewy and a little bit soft at the same time. It's a nice feeling when you stick your teeth into them. Now my favorite, the eggplant. This eggplant has such a great aroma. Well, this dish definitely reminds me why eggplant is one of my favorite ingredients. It just completely melts in your mouth. It's like candy. Delicious. Well, this is a great way to kick off the fall season with some homemade comfort food. This is really, truly a hidden neighborhood gem. Check out Bangkok City Cafe for more, and I'm gonna need some help to finish all of this amazing food. Did someone take a look at my calendar of the things that I want to do and the things that I love to do? I've always wanted to try the float house and my favorite places are Medina Cafe and I love catching up with Raghav. Up next is one of my favorite places to hang. On any given night, you can take the stairs down to Guilt & Co where you'll find live entertainment, an amazing staff and an extensive drink list. Let's see how Christina Meng's night turns out at one of my favorite spots, Guilt & Co. Lively crowd and the drinks are flowing. I'm here at Gastown's Guilt & Company for the Risqué Tuesday Cabaret Night. Seating is first come first serve, so get here early because trust me, you're not going to want to miss this. Let's go. the vibe in here and the atmosphere? I would say it's unpretentious and sophisticated okay. at the same time. The music on stage is absolutely some of the very best that this city has to offer. We have uh, live entertainment seven nights a week, but the vibe in here is very open and welcoming and warm and affectionate. We're just a big family here and we want to bring people into our family. So we have a really good time and that's really apparent when you walk around the room. It's just a really cool atmosphere. I love it. It's, it's, it's dark and cozy. They have wonderful cocktails. It's a really good experience. Belly dancing. Oh. 
Besides getting tattooed, I'll be doing all the things in today's show. Make sure you check out our brand new website, 24604tv.com. It's beautiful. The ladies are calling it pretty, but it's a good looking website. It's also very functional and user friendly. So again, that's 24604tv.com. You can also find us on Twitter and on Facebook. And of course, we'll catch you right here next time when we take you 24604 on Novus TV.